everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming at you with a um, video to tell you guys an update on a repaired Louis Vuitton piece I got and it is the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer in the Makassar print so I took this back about a month and a bit ago and yeah it it, it Basically, the glazing on this side, it was starting to crack. So you see where it has the two the two pieces of, of leather here, this side, and then the interior here. Um, it was starting to crack, or these two pieces started to separate. So I, and it was starting to do it on the bottom too, but this here was the most prominent. So I took it in, and without any questions, um, my essay was able to give me, um, not a new one, thank God, because I really, really wanted to, uh, test out Louis Vuitton's, or really experience Louis Vuitton's repair, um, experience, so I'm happy that I did that, and, um, when I got it, it came in this little dust bag, so it didn't come with a box, but it came with a little dust bag, so it was really, really great customer service because every time I went into a Louis Vuitton they never gave me um, a, 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 new, a new dust bag when it went in or when I exchanged it for a new one so getting the, this dust bag with this um, after the repair really really does make me like Louis Vuitton a little bit more so um, and it did cost me nothing, as the receipt says, and I was, you know, I'm happy that they actually repaired it because it actually shows that Louis Vuitton actually uh, really does care for the pieces and they're not just, you know, constantly making new ones, throwing them out, giving, you, giving the customers a new one, so, um, you know, I'm really happy about that, and, you know, my boyfriend, he actually asked me, like, why didn't they just give you a new one? I mean, it's only, like, three months old. Why didn't they give you a new one? Uh, because wouldn't it be better if they just give you a new one? And I said no, because, um, you know, it, it just shows that um, Louis Vuitton is really, really lacking in their quality. And with Louis Vuitton actually taking their time to repair this, um, it really does show that they took extra care in, in, in their product and um, that there shouldn't be any any problem. Whereas if some, if like every time I go into Louis Vuitton or the past times I've been into Louis Vuitton and I've, you know, realized like something's gone wrong or like the glazing is coming off um, or the product is just not straight and it's all bumpy, um, they just simply go, oh, here's a new one. Uh, basically and that's practically it and I don't like that because that it, it shows that you know they can they can just make as many of these products as they can and they'll, they'll just like give it to you um, I don't know if you understand what that I meant but um, yeah just let's that just shows that they have less care in their products so I'm glad that they took extra care into this so they like reglazed, I think only up to like here. So they probably like shaved off the existing um, previous glazing and they just reglazed um, mostly this part here. And it does feel a lot thicker and it does feel um, very, very, um, I don't know, it, it, it feels like it will not peel or crack or anything because I did notice that um, um, mostly in the interior or on the spine here that the coating would start to just peel off like just start to peel just on the ridge here and that was really concerning for me so but I don't think that um, I think they've reassured that that won't happen again is this is pretty good uh, reglazing here so um, and then I also went back to Louis Vuitton because I noticed in my Louis Vuitton 
agenda refill, but it did not come with a bookmark. So he gave my essay gave me a bookmark. He had to order a new one, and he took the bookmark out and he just gave it to me. So um, I know it sounds really really silly to go back to the store just for this little paper thing, but um, you know I paid like over a hundred dollars for those refills, so it better come with a bookmark. It doesn't matter how silly the size of it or how silly like the, the thought of it is it's just when you're buying a luxury item you want the whole thing to, to come um you want the whole thing um when purchasing it and you know the bookmark actually does help a lot because you know i'm starting to use my agenda refills as like we just got into 2016 and i, f I feel that you know, I just feel lost without a bookmark, so this really, really does um, help uh, that as well. Um, and then also, I went, like, after I, you know, got my repair done, I was asking around, and I was noticing all these new things from Louis Vuitton. Because I haven't been looking at, Louis Vuitton, at the Louis Vuitton website in, like, about a month or so. Which actually is um, a record for me, because I'm always online seeing, like, what's new and whatnot on Louis Vuitton. Because... Louis Vuitton is always spitting out new product, so I went in the store and I was just seeing all this new jewelry and stuff, and I really, really, like, in the future, hope to get the LVME earrings um, for K&M, which is my initials um, for my first name and my last name, and, um, yeah, I, I think that would be a pretty awesome uh, next uh Louis Vuitton jewelry piece, but right now I'm just testing the the waters with this new piece, and I got the Louis Vuitton um, Alma monogram bracelet. I think that's what it's called, but it's if you type in um, on the Louis Vuitton website um, Alma bracelet, this this is this is the first thing that comes up, and I should show you. Basically, so here is the Alma hair, and it is absolutely, it's so adorable. I, that's the reason why I picked this. When I first saw this, this was like kind of like in the corner of the show showcase, so I didn't really see, um, see it until like, um, my essay went away and was packing up my stuff, but, um, yeah, so, ugh, I'm trying to get this to stay but I don't know if you can see but on this side here this side here you can see that there is a key clochette here and then on this side here it has LV um, on on this side here so um, yeah they paid a lot of attention to detail on this um, and if you can see on the actual body of the little Alma, um, that it has uh, horizontal lines kind of representing the, um, what's it called, the epi leather. And I thought that was a really cute touch because I do have an Alma epi um, handbag and I thought this was a cute touch. But even though this is, I, I wish that this was in silver so that it would definitely like go totally hand in hand with my Alma, but they don't come in silver hardware, just in gold hardware, but um, I don't mind. It's totally adorable, um, and even on the clasp here, it says LV here and LV here, and um, I'll show you the actual inside of the band. So the band here is this um, is all uh, leather. So it does not patina at all. It's not machado leather. It's just calfskin leather. So I'm really glad that they fixed that and they got rid of that because I feel that when um, you know when you put machado on these bracelets and because they're on your skin all the time that it will start to look a little bit um, worn a lot. But this here not so much because it is treated leather. So. Um, I'm not sure what this says. I think that's just like the code of it. And then the size 17, Louis Vuitton, made in Spain. And then here's the date code. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, and then the band here 
has little the little uh, Louboutin flowers. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're that's basically what it is. It would have been cute if they had like L like the LV in between some of these, but um, I guess that's not how they designed it. So I'll show you what it looks like on. I really really do love uh, this little piece here. It's so adorable. Um, as I'm trying to put this on, it's a little, it's it's at first kind of hard to put on because I'm so used to my click clacks, but, um, yeah, so here there is. Okay. So this is practically what it looks like on. I don't know if you can see that, but here's the little Alma here. So it, the Alma just like dangles. I'm kind of concerned that um, the Alma will start scratching the sides here and here, but I mean, that's that's what's going to happen with this bracelet. Um, it, it does fit pretty snug. There is a lot of space left. Um, I have fairly small wrists, so I have a lot of space left here. And it does move around, but it doesn't move around like crazy. So as I'm moving around, it doesn't like go up and down my wrist or anything. Um, it might be because my wrist has gone a little bit um, thicker a little bit of the, this past year, but um, this doesn't slide as easily. I really, really do have to like push and pull this for it to move. Um, so, but if you want to wear this down here like that, that's practically what it looks like. It does look cute, but because I do, I am on the computer and I am a klutz and look from looking at my um hermes click clacks i get the bottom of the wristband um, dinged up so i'm going to have to wear this just upright like this and um yeah so that's practically it um oh and they did come with or it did come with this drawstring dust bag the box the little um, little um, card here tells you what it's made out of, and the SKU card uh, number here, and the actual price of this. I'll show you in a minute. So this is basically it. Um, so. The code number, the name, so BC Alma Nano Monogram, number 17, that's the size. Um, and then the unit price here for for this in Canadian dollars was $390 Canadian. So it wasn't like too badly priced uh, compared to like Hermes and Chanel jewelry. This is actually pretty priced, uh, priced pretty well, and I thought to get um, at least one Louis Vuitton jewelry piece now before the next price increase because I don't think I would purchase this for over um, four to five hundred dollars because it's fairly small and yes, you're paying a lot just for the little charm, but I really do love, um, I really do love this. Um, this will go really, really well with my Neverfull. Uh, really well with my um, basically all my Louis Vuittons. This is I'm gonna be wearing this a lot when I whenever I I wear my Louis Vuitton pieces or my my Louis Vuitton handbags. So yeah, that's it. Um and yeah, not really much it. And I hope you guys have a great fantastic day. Um and you know I hopefully uh, I will get a chance to film a. Louis Vuitton and Chanel collection video. I'm going to split them up in two separate videos. One fully Chanel and then one fully Louis Vuitton. Because um, though I have so much Chanel and Louis Vuitton, it's, it's going to be a really, really long video. So I don't want to, you know, make that video like 50 minutes long for you guys. So yeah, that's practically it, uh, you guys. Please follow me on Instagram. Catherine is a cat on Instagram and um, if you have any questions uh, please uh, leave ask me on Instagram rather than on YouTube um, it's kind of harder for me to reply to everyone on YouTube whereas Instagram it's pretty instant um, so yeah thanks guys and I hope you have a great day bye bye